I mean, you're like Overeaters Anonymous. And they got everything going for them except the mind. That's they, right. They have shit That's right. Mind. They That's got right. They got the Sangha. They've got some good practices. They got everything. No mind. Alcoholics no Anonymous. Gamblers Anonymous, all of, anonymous, the all same, of them. All of them. Same, same thing. Same thing. But I'm going, how, how could you do Our culture be? is afraid yeah. of the mind. Yeah. Everywhere. Wow. Everywhere. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, we go to work. I'm offering my house tomorrow for a Saturday morning get together. I'm offering my house tomorrow for a Saturday morning. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, um, tomorrow I'm offering my, my backyard um, al fresco. Uh, uh, sub solar uh, without any canvas tin. Um, and uh, just sit around in a circle and, and uh, have a cock circle or whatever. And, and, and this guy's going to be here. And this guy might even tell us something about where he went for the last month. Yeah. <clears throat> might. I might. I might. If, it's, if, it, if I can find something. Distill something okay. besides gin. That's it. Um, from the That's experience. What time, David? Uh, always at 10. 10. Um, yeah. Did you say okay. there would be coffee or there would be uh, There would be coffee, but there will not be crumpets unless no. somebody no. brings
Now, Plato's time is from about 35 to about 37. <clears throat> deals the study of the soul. Now, it's been a long time since we've done the time is and this aspect. And I thought it would be worthwhile to go back and do it again and bring in Proclus's commentary on the time is. So, what we really are doing, would you not agree we're seeing that dreams have been shown to be intelligible again and again and again? What does that mean? What does that presuppose about the structure or the nature of reality? That's the study of the soul. Now, um, the key point in this whole game <clears throat> is this strange word we kick around called usia. Now, I picture it always this way. That it's a turning upon itself. That means there must be some power behind here to do it. And it expresses itself in, in energetically. Ah. And it always seeks to see something, right? Has a goal. Now, what it is, is the, what we can call, see what this is, is a turning upon itself, and what is it doing it for? Well, in this way, it brings about the fullest development of the individual. Now, the kind of development, though, um, an individual, I'd rather call the fullest, the fullest flowering of the soul. Proclus talks about it in this way as well. Now, what that means is that when we're involved in this kind of study, we're talking about ourselves, right? Dream came to us, it's about us, it concerns us, no one else. So therefore, it's very personal. Unique. So, this activity, 
that's unique to, the, to each individual that brings about, right, would you not agree? When we ask questions to the dreamer, it gets them to reflect and turn around and wonder about it, right? Is that what it does? Well, the questions, what do they do? Get you to wonder about it, turn about it, think about it, is that what it does? Yeah. Right? So, Proclus pulls it together and he says, I'll tell you what the nature of the soul is. Nature of the soul is, Hyparxis is the fullest flowering of something. Essence is this very activity that we're talking about that's essentially, essentially the most significant part of the human activity, our reflection, wherever we do it, especially about dreams and ourselves. Well, what does this assume? What does this assume? Well, Looks like we have three things here. Uh, we have essence, power, and energy. Those are the three dynamics of the soul and what it presupposes. That there is this essence, this reflection upon itself, that always seeks its own good and, its, and the development in which it presents for you. It certainly has some power and it expresses itself energetically by catching you into it and carries you to the conclusion, doesn't it? Captures you, brings it about. Well, This idea now, um, it would be interesting to see um, this is the this is the way we used to study it before the Prometheus press came along. This is volume one. I don't dare to carry volume one and two together. <laughs> this is book three. So I thought I'd read for you a couple of sections. You tell me. Um, Now, when you read Proclus, and I assure you, the Balboas have good evidence for this. He rambles around and talks about other people. But, so you have to skip that and find out where he picks up the meaning. So I have to pick a good page where it has less of that. All right, look. Um, The essence of the soul is generated, right? It's generated. And it's generated and it comes into you, your body. So therefore it's a corporeal formed nature is generated. It's always coming to be. It receives an infinite power of existence, for the soul also is a thing of this kind, but it's not able to receive all at once. The power, this is evident from its living in a discursive manner and producing different reasons at different times, because it doesn't have the whole of infinite life at once present to it. 
but always therefore evolving its own life, the soul, it is evident that it has an essence always generated or becoming to be. And it receives a life which is just essential. And that life is entirely natural to it. For that which is perfective of a thing is to that thing entirely according to its nature. For the soul exists in a twofold respect, from itself and from the natures prior to itself. Uh oh. So, therefore, then, we have a twofold task from itself which is what we've been doing and from its prior well that's going to lead us to look at the source, the origin, or the source of the soul. And where he's going is that in the creation of the soul, there is this pure essence. And there's another kind of essence. And it's very interesting because it's not in a thing as much as it's all around it. But it contains it. So this is therefore not, you can't break it into parts. This by necessity since it can be in things, it's partable. It can be in parts. Now, these are two, it's both essence, both with its power on a pure level. Therefore, eternal has all of those great qualities. He says, What was necessary for the soul is that these two have to come together. And that becomes a third thing. The mixture of these two together is the third thing. From this then, this is now soul. And he says, hey, you know what? Once you have this, you want to distribute it through the entire universe. It has to cover everything. And especially, it has to embrace and involve, and pardon me, but embrace and hold together each of the planets, the heavens. So, if you can take the ratio of distance between the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, etc. The ratios of the distances between these is very close mathematically to the ratios that he then has the demiurgos break the soul in pieces and toss them out. Therefore, soul is in principle, right, in principle, the parts of it distribute in the universe and we take on the very same qualities within our soul. So, but this is cosmic soul or general soul, all right? So then this becomes a lambda. One part, two, four, Eight, three, nine, twenty-seven.
as you can see, these are clearly the materials for uh, evens, odds, triads, duads. And from this set, you can get the major analogies you need to explore things. But look here. That means, therefore, that in principle, so there are natural reasons within each soul, since it mirrors the cosmic pattern, rational principles. Since it has a mathematical, very interesting model, it's a rational, progressive model, so too the soul, having all of those qualities, continues the same heavenly model within the soul of man. Now, um, now every nature, therefore, is made up of these three things. Essence, power, energy. That's a triad. Every nature has those qualities. And essence indeed is, uh, now notice the way he describes it. It's that according to which an existence as fire is fire. Whatever you are, the reason for your existence, the very nature of your existence, can be vouchsafed in the fact that that's your very nature, it's your essence. The essence is what you are primarily. What you are as a human being. Power is one thing and energy is another and uh, uh, it goes for a while to talk about that. Now, he said, the, the soul um, has a threefold nature. Nature, not parts. Has a threefold nature. And um, He picks up this term, hyparxis, right? Harmony, form or idea. Harmony is the reason, say the basic reasons, because these ratios, when you express them mathematically and put them in terms of three analogies, produce the Greek diatonic scale, the musical scale, because the musical scale also is the same ratio between the planets. So therefore, he can talk about now harmony the nature of the soul has an in inbred harmony because in principle it contains the very elements of creation of the soul. Right? So, patterns, order, balance, symmetry, that's harmony. Hyparxis we mentioned, and he says, the, in, every, in every activity of the soul, we can use dreams. Doesn't every dream present us with a challenge to try to discover what is it that the soul is creating in this dream? 
How did this dream master bring together the dream? Um, is it odd? Is it a happenstance? Or is there intelligible design in it? Is it going somewhere? Ah, hyparxis. Is it pointing to some direction that is important for us to go through because right now that's our problem? Then that's part of the flowering of our soul. That is what's perfectly, perfectly, hey, perfectly designed to fit the unique circumstances of the individual and their conflicts. That's a dream. 80% of them, 90% of them. And it's going somewhere. It's trying to go into some, re trying to resolve something because it's like a flower, right? It's a flowering. Hey, where is it all going? Every dream wants you to come to some idea. Something is going on. You have to put it into words. You have to match the dream. You have to reduce it to a puzzle. One sentence. Does it? Right? It comes to one sentence. One idea. He says, these three, ah, nature of the soul. Not the parts. This is the way it functions. Now, I've got a great part here. Um, are these the functions of the soul? Pardon me? These are the functions of the soul? That's right. Um, now to uh, we need now remember now all of these express essence of the soul. And he says, you know what? Um, you have to recognize that essence is a complex term that to understand it, you need four ideas. And uh, what I like about it, um, um, no, he says it twice. Um, And he's going to reduce three and four to the idea of life. Remember what we did? That has a vitality to it. It has a motion to it. And since it's doing it all the time, there's a permanency to it. It's gone together. That's life. Now, um, 
when he, what happened to my, oh. He's going to say that there's a kinship between this term and this term. Because whenever, it, whenever, however it functions, it's always the same. The idea of same captures the essential element as this particle of essence is difference or other. That's the connection between these two major terms. Could, could you describe the connection again? Could you say what the connection is in one's more? Well, <clears throat> um, it's very, you know, it, it's a very interesting notion. He's saying <clears throat> that this is pure essence. Everlasting, never change, always the same. That's a central characteristic. Oh, uh, this is particle in that sense that it can be distributed in different places. And therefore, wherever it is, since everything is different to some degree, it carries the mark of difference. So now he has four terms. So therefore, when he was over here, he says, now look here. Um, It's on this one, okay. Now here's the interesting part for soul, right? Um, would you not agree that any time you're concentrating on something, right? doesn't matter what it is, that there's something about you that is aware of all, all that comes to you. that you experience. Sometimes it may seem like it bombards you, but there's one thing you always know, don't you? That however we describe this stuff coming where it does, it's always different than you. And yet, like, hey, hear that sound? Did you hear that sound? Yeah. Did you? A moment ago? Yeah, cool. Uh, what's hearing it? Look here. Is what's hearing it make noise? Does it make noise? Oh, it doesn't make noise. So, when you're looking at something, uh, do you see what's looking? Yet there's something there that has no marks. Therefore, it's, wait a minute. This is essentially different. 
Dar n-aș șaim. That's the mystery of shame and difference. Because don't you want to know what is it? What is it? That's the same and has no marks? But it's weird. Right? Like, you know more than one language? What knows it? You mean it knows more than one language? <clears throat> How does it do that? I don't know. Wait a minute. Are you suggesting that even though it has no marks, it's intelligible since it can grasp all of this instantly? Yeah. Ah! Huh. Ah. Ah. Wait a minute. Yes or no now? Does all of this crazy stuff you people are going through on Friday nights and, all, and other nights, um, have you changed? Uh, miss, have you ever changed? Then wait a minute. Then this thing that's the same changes. In what way? Because it has no marks. It's still you, isn't it? It's still the same, but it's different. Oh, so then this then can have a uh, blooming. Can have a hyparxis. Oh, and when it makes sense of this, you're looking for reasons, are you not? Harmony. Then you're trying to grasp it all in a unity. Idea. Three major parts of the soul. Um. Now, well, just one thing. Uh, we spend all our time trying to figure out this stuff. That's good, right? That's what you're doing. But we also want to know what's doing, what's watching, what's doing. Because it certainly seems to have the ability to develop, does it not? Wow, that's strange. And by the way, do we not enjoy the development that we go on and when we participate in it? Yep. So it has fun. <laughs> right? The soul has fun. The nature of man is a playing animal. Man, the nature of man, the soul of man, homo ludens. Man the player. Inherent in man's all of this activity is he wants to have fun. He wants it to be meaningful. Right? And we don't. They get a kick. Right? And we hope when you drop dead, there's only one thing you want to know. Man is healthy virgin. That better be a good joke there to hear. That's all you need to know. Then you know you're in heaven. You use the word 
intelligible. Yes. Right? And you said since it has the capacity to grasp everything that it's bombarded with, it's therefore intelligible. And I wondered why you chose intelligible rather the, than intelligent. If you gain the result of using the intellect and can grasp what is intelligible, you have intelligence. Because in this game, in order to be able to allow the Ushia to function, that presupposes in the soul, there is intellect. And that plays a major role in the creation story. Because right at 29.30, God then, what does he do? He creates soul and creates the intellect and puts the intellect in soul and soul in body. So right from the beginning, we have the threesome. So if you can take this intellect, which is really the eye of the soul, and you can get that to participate in essence, That's intelligible. What you get is intelligence. Now, you should be able to see things relatively well with ease. Because this fundamentally changes your mode of seeing. That's Proclus. And it plays, of course, a major role and the third and the fourth hypotheses, as well as the second. But um, okay, good. Um, Now, I wanted to go back to uh, permanency and motion, okay? By the way, I'm in book three, page 30 in uh, Proclus. Okay, motion and permanency, that's the energies of the soul. For permanency and motion are in the essence of it. For it constitutes itself, abides and proceeds and is eternal. Motion and permanency being superior to sameness and difference. For it abides in eternal natures according to permanency and proceeds are being moved through uh, progression and multitude. So, 
hey, to do the Shushia, we know one big thing, right? Well, we go back to our figure. Uh, for this activity to take place, for Usia to take place, hey, for Usia to take place, that's turning upon itself, that presupposes motion. Uh, of course, it's a different kind of motion than spatial motion, but it is a motion. And that activity the soul is constantly in. Therefore, motion and permanency in Usia plays a higher role than sameness and difference. Now, this is all caught in no more than two or three pages. So I'm going to quit. Uh, I invite you to take a look yourselves. And uh, the Balboas are considering. Thinking about creating the universe, would that also be Usia? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. See, each of these end up being the same thing as uh, just other words for Usia. For Usia is mind. The the energy activity function of mind. So it's a. I, I like the word mind, but essence is good, I'll, I'll, as long as you understand it as you see it. Did you want to make the announcement about dreams or hold off from the uh, Oh, hey, question. Um, we've done many dreams. Please let me know if you object to having your dream put up on the web, on our NS website. If there are no objections, we'd like to put them up. They're beautiful, they're profound, they're worthwhile, and people need to know of the good work you're doing. Is it okay to put up a naked dream? Sir? Sure. Is it okay to put up a naked dream? Okay, let's check. <laughs> are the dreams in, under a pri are the dreams going to be uh, accessed privately or is it just open? I'm not sure what you mean, because there's been some discussion that we can have an access code to our dreams. If you have any reason to withhold it, to withhold it. Okay? So I think, it's, I think they're open. I think it's an open thing. Yeah. Then, okay. Yes, for myself. Okay. I have a question. Are the intelligible, intelligible objects, are they the virtues, like justice and gratitude? Well, are they virtues? Uh, certainly. Uh, yeah, certainly. Uh, Anything of the highest. Yeah, 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 good, good. Okay. I ran out of gas. But, you know, okay. You're allowed to do that. Now tell me, do you think it's worthwhile doing this? Yes. To get the background to it and go back over it? Yes. Thank you. Good. So is it coffee? Oh, got it. It's a, it's a, that's an estimation. This, this should take any of this money. I don't know.
Brian. Brian. We need to copy him and take him. And who is it? So, did he break it? You don't take cut? Yeah. He says, from itself. Oh, God, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, from itself and from its pride. Is that... This is its prior. This is where it comes from. Therefore, this is called its prior. <coughs> Therefore, there's a whole philosophy that we have in touch. That he says, since soul comes out of this, you have to understand this in order to understand what came out of it. And that's exploring these three ideas. Okay. So the difference is the prior and the same is the self. Yeah. Well, no, well, no, no. The prior you got, what's the other? Uh, same. Same. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Though the word same will change, but yes. You know, Pierre? Um, I don't know what you've been doing for the last 40 years, but I got older. And uh, I, I know did? you really haven't changed that much, but uh, my eyes got really bad. Yeah. And if this may sound pedantic, no, but, I don't mind. But, but as you write down a set of words and stop, you just, if you wouldn't mind just reading what you said, just Yes, watch. absolutely. Just, you know, and, absolutely. And I might snap now, my fingers. Anytime I don't snap your fingers. It, it, it doesn't, it doesn't. No, no, no. Yeah, because it's No, like, it's like, necessary. You said there were four ideas that were, were, were a part of something that I was trying to follow, and then I didn't get to know what the four ideas were, and so I didn't know that these two constituted life. 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 Yeah. Okay, these two constituted life. And, and they are more important than they used to. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, most importantly. And then also, you said that uh, there's. Um, you, you said something about light at the beginning. That there's. The, the prior also includes the light. But if you, if you said that while you were writing it, it's up there somewhere. It's so another example. I'm not saying. No, that. I want to hear it. When 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 you say personal, you need to each. You know, Energetic and powerful, it brings the full circle. You write that, and then you'll. Blah, 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 blah. So it's like a dialogue you're carrying on with the board and the, and the okay. room. Okay. And uh, I, unfortunately, can't afford a pair of glasses for another couple of months. No, 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 no. It's very important. And, and, and I don't think it would be. No, it is important. And I think I think it would give you time to slow down and think, maybe too. Yeah. And, uh, done. Not that you need it. Hey, uh, I need it. I need it. Yeah, Thank you. Josh and me. Yeah. You're Josh. If you're pulling no. my leg. Hey, I, I, that's true. Yeah, I got a job. Yeah. Uh, that's Generates. The same and different. You, you, you hesitated earlier on the word well, same. Well, that's right. Well, that's because it needs another discussion. Okay. Um, then you have these in the wrong place. Um, uh, this refers it's, to something else. Yeah, it's it's all over the place. I'm just gonna stitch it together. No, well, later. no, no. no. Uh, uh, this is uh, pure Lucia, and the uh, impartable doesn't break into parts. And there is a partable Lucia. And from this idea, you get the word same. And from this, since it 
and ends up distinguishing each thing, and each thing becomes what it is, and it, in, its, in its uniqueness, that's the origin of difference. Mm -hmm. Each thing becomes different in its uniqueness. Would you agree you're different? Yeah. Where the hell did that come from?